This lesson in course two is called Binary Bracelets. It's a fun lesson and there's so much jumping off potential for it, but you need to make sure when you're initially teaching it, you keep it wrangled because the temptation here is to just go off into binary and what binary numbers are and base two, and then you get the scary logarithm stuff you could start talking about, and you've got sounds and colors and images and all sorts of things that you can talk about. And eventually, you can get there, but you really need to go one step at a time. So the intention with the binary bracelets lesson is literally to talk about the fact that computers encode whatever you do into binary. So that's the base of, that's a base language of a computer. We use the alphabet. So uh, the alphabet is really easy to kind of understand. We're not messing with students' numbers at a young age when they're just really trying to get arithmetic down. Uh, they take their letters and they code them into series of on and off using a handy guide that you can provide for them. And then they can trade once they're done and see if other people can guess what their letters were. The one thing we do like to talk about in this lesson is the concept of a bit and a byte because since you have two options for each space, it makes sense to call each one of those things a binary digit. And the shortened term for binary digit is bit. So you can talk about that. And then you can ask them if they know what eight bits, a grouping of eight bits is called. And that's a byte. And suddenly it'll all start to click. When you talk about how many megabytes, gigabytes a computer has, that's what they're talking about. So that's really as far as the lesson goes. It's as far as it needs to go. The rest of it's making a fun bracelet, something they get to take home. It's engaging. It's educational. And everybody should have a good time.